White Day was originally developed in 2001 by the Korean company Sonori for the PC. A remake was made in 2015 by Roy Games for mobile and later re-released again in 2017 for the PC through the publisher P-Cube Limited. With the remake came some graphical changes, some great, the school for example looks amazing and is brimming with atmosphere. Other changes were not so great. Now instead of a little heart at the bottom telling you your health, you get this annoying Call of Duty like blood splatter. They also changed the character design and I still don't know how to feel about it. Yes, they look very nice, but maybe they look a little too pretty and soft to immerse you in this intense scenario that you're in. I mean, I wasn't very familiar with the old version anyway, having only watched a little bit of Cryotic's Let's Play of it back in the day. You know, before he went in Sano mode. The fact that I cheated on my girlfriend with people who I didn't realize were even underage in the first place. Anyway, let's get into the game. As soon as you boot up the game, you're greeted with a cutscene, where our protagonist, Lee Hee Min, seems to be trying to get some courage to talk to this girl, Han So Young. As the wind blows, her diary turns to a page with an old photo of herself and another girl. She seems to have a bittersweet reaction to seeing this picture, and the wind blows again and blows it away, which is getting a little annoying. Hee Min hands her the picture when another girl calls So Young. This is Ji Hyun. And you better remember that this is basically the only likable character in the game. They leave together, but So Young left her diary. So you go to school at night to give So Young her diary and a little gift for White Day. White Day is basically a day where a boy will give something to a girl that he likes. And in Korea, on Valentine's Day, it's girls giving the boy something. Yeah, I bet you didn't know I was this culture, did you? As you enter the school, the thing shuts behind you. And... Tutorial prompts. Yeah, these things are super annoying. I just hate how it stops the game completely to tell you some really obvious shit. Oh my god, stop! So you explore a bit, take a school pamphlet and use the map of the school that's on the pamphlet. And this is something I really like about this game. Like the fact that the UI and sound effects of your inventory resemble a backpack. Like using the actual map on the school brochure or whatever. In order to save, you need to use these markers because you're writing on like a little message board on the school. It's attention to detail that helps you get immersed into the school even while you're doing these mundane things. So you're still in a small kind of tutorial area, so there's not much to explore. You can, however, go into the woman's bathroom to finally see what it looks like in there. Nyum, 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 nyum. Haha, ha. just kidding gamers, I'm not actually gonna eat it like a big piece of crap or anything, <laughs> that'd be so silly. Going into this hallway, you meet with these two girls. Hmm, how do we get in? Yeah, I wonder how we can do it. <gasps> oh my, you totally startled me just then. Here you get your first dialogue option. These will affect the ending you get. At some point while I was playing, I looked up a walkthrough so that I could get the true ending. But some choices don't really seem to matter. You might recognize this girl with the glasses. This is Ji Hyun, So Young's friend from the beginning cutscene. And this new girl is Kim Seong Ah. Anyway, they do that thing where they whisper really loudly and pretend like you're not listening. Oh, I've seen him. He's a new transfer student. Hmm. Really? Ji Hyun leaves and you found out that Seung Ha is in the same class as So Young and she needs your help with something. So you follow her into the girl's bathroom. Welcome! First time in the girl's bathroom? Nyum, 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 nyum. Ha ha, just kidding gamers. I'm not a- I left my book in the home ec room. I can't get in because it's locked. I happen to know that the keys are in the auto shop classroom. But it's locked as well. But you can crawl through that vent up there and get me the keys. Hmm, we'll need a ladder and we'll also need some sort of cutting tool. Why don't you look around? So you go get a cutting tool and a ladder to go up into the vents where we see the janitor for the first time.
When my friend Neil bent over, this happened. What do we do about it? Ow. Moving along, you get to the auto shop room, which is under construction. As soon as you step foot in it, the alarm goes off. You solve a simple puzzle and you get the metal token. We'll talk about that more later. When you leave the room, Song Ha is waiting for you, and we get some context on the school. Oh, but did you know? This school used to be a hospital during the Korean War. Rumor has it the whole school is haunted, because so many people died here during that time. Maybe the rumor's true. I mean, especially on a night like this. She gives you the key to the locked hallway so you can keep exploring and finally find So Young. Stop bothering me and get lost. Oh wow, this is just like real life. So, to give a little context to what she said before, this school used to be a hospital during the Korean War, and at some point even a prison for prisoners of war. So, it has seen a lot of death and torment. But what's up with that metal token? Well, this game follows Chinese feng shui, or in Korean, feng shu. And it's definitely not a scam, don't look it up. But basically, the building of the school or hospital or whatever messed with the feng shui of the area. Feng shui is made up of five elements, water, earth, wood, and metal. So it seems someone at the school was aware of this and tried to balance the feng shui, but something went wrong, obviously. Also, I want you to remember that the paranormal event that we just saw caused an alarm to go off and the room looked like it had been on fire at some point. That will be important for later. Moving on, you unlock the hallway door and get chased by the janitor. Get away from me! Uh, why are you chasing me? But Ji Hyun saves you and asks you a very important question. Tell me something. I always see you alone. Don't you have friends? God, I hate both of these answers. Don't worry about it, babe. I like being alone. <laughs> I've got you, babe. <laughs> uh, Fuck, she didn't like it. You put the metal token in this thing to unlock the door, and this is where the game really starts. You can now explore the school, or at least this building of the school, but the janitor will be patrolling and basically trying to, you know, kill you. The janitor is one of the key elements of this game. He's slightly broken. How doesn't he see me? How am I getting away with this? But he follows specific rules. If a classroom door is open, he will check the room and close the door. If the light in a classroom is on, he will go into the room to shut the light. This I found is more inconsistent. Sometimes he does it, sometimes he doesn't. The worst part of the janitor is how slow he is. And because of that, a lot of the game will be spent looking at a wall and listening to the sound of his keys to know if he's past you. Here's the thing, I, I like the janitor, I like his design, I like the feeling you get when you're just exploring and you hear his little keys jangle, but the developers made him hover around too much and it takes away from that tension that the game successfully builds. Another danger that you'll encounter in the school is the ghosts. In the school, kids have essentially been spreading around creepypastas about ghosts in the school. Sonic.exe, look, look at his freaking eyes. What the hell? Hello, do you want to play with me? Oh my god! The teachers obviously don't believe any of them and attribute this trend to stress about exams or whatever. But all of the stories are true. I mean, there's a bunch of reports about students committing suicide, so the teachers are just being purposefully ignorant. Now, I really don't want to spoil you all of the ghosts, because I really think they are one of the most fun parts of the game. Finding a little creepypasta that some kid wrote, and then going to make that ghost show itself was a lot of fun. So I'll just pop in with a ghost story every now and then. We'll call it, um, a ghost corner. According to rumors, this school was used as a concentration camp for political prisoners during the occupation. Many people died here after being tortured, with the dishonor of being labeled traitors. One of these tortured souls included a woman who was arrested on behalf of her husband, who dodged conscription. She was tortured viciously to reveal the whereabouts of her husband, but she always kept her silence. In the end, they locked her up in a specially designed closet where she could neither lie nor sit. 
She died slowly in agony, without being able to move. It was only after the war ended that her corpse was recovered. It is said that they had difficulty putting her body in a coffin because her neck and knees were bent stiffly at odd angles. It's said that if you open one of the closets at night, she will stick out her twisted neck to claim her next victim. So that was Ghost Corner. I hope you liked it, because I'm not gonna be doing Ghost Corner a lot, so you better enjoy it. Moving on with the game, you solve a little puzzle to get the auditorium passageway key by examining this tool set through your inventory screen. All the puzzles in this game are pretty simple like this, but fun and satisfying to solve. You unlock the door and get a cutscene. Make sure to remember this girl. Going back, we see Ji Hyun closely inspecting a plant, pondering its various leaves and veins within those leaves. She gets up and walks away. You go after her, but are interrupted by So Young. Oh, I've seen you. What are you doing here at this hour? You tell her you're here to return her diary, and this happens. Here is our first boss fight of the game. Bosses in this game are essentially timed puzzles. I really like this idea, I've never seen a horror game create tension with a puzzle. Instead of a chase or a large health pool, the tension is created within yourself. So to beat this boss you have to solve this puzzle and pick up this chemical solvent and this bug spray. You then use the chemical on these plants to weaken the tree monster. You then go down the floor and throw the chemical solvent into the tree monster. And we get everyone's favorite, quick time events. What? I don't know why they put these in the game. But you're probably thinking, what is this? Why is there a giant tree monster here? Well, there's a little story I think you should hear. One night, a student named Mi Hyun had to stay at the school late because it was her turn to clean the classroom. Wait, am I doing Ghost Corner? Play the intro. She was very scared and her anxiety only grew when she saw the potted tree in the hallway. This plant used to belong to her homeroom teacher last year. Her homeroom teacher, Mr. B, was very quiet and reserved. He never tried to connect with the students. All he cared about were his plants. Then one day, a student accidentally dropped chemical solvent on Mr. B's favorite tree. The tree turned black and shriveled up completely. Afraid of the repercussions, the students replaced the tree and decided to burn the old one. Him and his friends went to the incinerator and burned the tree. When the flames grew more intense, a scream was heard. It was like the burning tree was screaming out in pain. That's when Mr. B came running. Watching his favorite tree burning made him go crazy. And before anyone could reason with him, Mr. B jumped into the open flames to be with his favorite tree in the fire. Mi Hyun was there that day at the incinerator. That's why every time she saw a plant Mr. B used to care for, it made her shiver. Mi Hyun tried to calm herself down when she saw a light on in a nearby classroom, her old classroom from last year. She heard someone moving in there too. She quickly opened the door to see the back of a man facing a potted plant. The man slowly turned around and faced Mi Hyun. He was holding a dog's corpse with its belly ripped open and his other hand covered in blood. Behind him, the tree was covered in blood and organs. He slowly approached Mi Hyun and said, Oh good, I was running out of food for my tree. When you go back to the classroom So Young was in, all you find is a wooden token and a note that we will go over later. As you leave the room, you see Song Ha. You try to explain that So Young was kidnapped by a tree monster, but end up sounding like a schizo. Tree? Are you insane? What do you think I'm insane? You think I'm something really think there's something wrong with me? <sighs> hmm. 
understand what you're saying. She takes you into this room and tells you what she really thinks about So Young. Look, wake up, stupid. You think you're the only one So Young bewitched with that face of hers? You don't know this, but she's a manipulative witch. And that's not all. There are a ton of totally strange rumors about her. Rumor has it, So Young. Huh? Did you hear something just now? You go and follow the sound and see it's the same girl we saw hanging. And she appears right as Sung Ha was bad mouthing So Young. And to show that connection between this girl and So Young even more, So Young shows up straight after. What are you doing in here? I can't remember anything. I woke up on the floor of a completely different room. I have a feeling that tonight is very different. Maybe the day is here. She's basically just being super cryptic for no reason. You explain to her the talisman token thing and she... Oh yeah? Maybe. That might have caused it. What? Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go now. If you want to leave the school, go to main building two. So using the wood token, you go to main building two, and this gross baby shows up. Number 15. A small creature yells at you, and you shed your pantaloons. What does this mean? I don't know, this looks pretty real to me. Tell me what you think in the comments. Alright. You see the baby again in this room, looking at a clay figure of a lady. And he just like yells at you again. Guys, what the fuck? Anyway, after you pick up this uh, facility key, So Young shows up again. She's looking for Ji Hyun and wants your help. You follow her very slowly. It's not a race, the faculty office will still be there, so don't worry, just take your time. Sometimes. I think the teachers are the ghosts of the people who died in this school. They are watching us to someday make us their next sacrifice. Even at this very moment. Source? Ji Hyun shows up out of nowhere and says that So Young called her. But So Young denies ever calling her. But whatever, we got Viper's new mixtape, so it's all good. You go to the art room and there's some instructions on creating a clay doll. And on the table is an unknown diary of a girl. She talks about being sick all the time and feeling bloated and sluggish. Her boyfriend doesn't seem very supportive. Eventually she finds out that she's pregnant. Her boyfriend threatens her if she doesn't lose the baby. But she seems determined to keep it. The last entry reads, I can't stop looking at the cover of the art book. It's a picture of a clay doll of a woman and her baby holding hands. You go over to open this door and... This is your next boss fight. In order to beat this small creature, you need to follow the clay doll steps with this clay doll that the baby kept looking at. After giving the finished doll to the baby, you find the complete mother and baby doll and the earth token. So there's no question that this baby is related to that anonymous diary we found. The question is, what happened? Did something go wrong with the birth or did her boyfriend do something about it? So you put the earth token in and we keep going. So young! So young! Hey! So young Han! Oh. 
you go through this strange labyrinth and we get to the new building and you see So Young. She was supposed to meet with Ji Hyun, but she never showed up. And you do some grade A simping. She explains that you need keycards to open the colored doors. Red keycard for red doors, blue keycard for blue doors. Yeah, you get it. So Young finds a room that's open and decides to rest there. She says she's thirsty, so you give her some coffee. This is necessary to get the true ending. And as I was giving her the coffee, I realized that her eyes are purple. I think her eyes are purple. And then I thought, that's weird. That's pretty weird. You finally give back her diary and finally introduce yourselves to each other. I'd forgotten about this. Thank you for returning it. It means quite a lot to me. Come to think of it, I don't even know your name. This is overdue, but I'm So Young Han. You then go downstairs to the school history room and pick up the yellow keycard. <laughs> After those smooth moves, you have to follow her very slowly, which is okay, this isn't a race, it's fine. You're now in the main hall of the new building, and this is where the janitor is the most broken, I think. He detects you so easily here, it's not even funny. I do enjoy that this janitor uh, whistles instead of having that little key jangle. Also, check out this scene. I just love stuff like that. It really reminds me of those RPG maker horror games. I love it. While exploring the new building, you come to this dance studio room with a giant mirror. Silent Hill 3 reference? Silent what? Hill 3 invented mirrors? What? Looking at the corner of the room, you see the red keycard, but it's on the other side of the mirror. So logically, you turn on the stereo. This is another boss fight. In order to defeat Darkiplier over here, you have to place the speakers in the same spot as they are in the mirror. And you do this at the same time as this wonderful music is playing. Shut up! Shut up! The soundtrack is really hit or miss in this game. Anyway, you kill him and get the red keycard. In order to get the blue keycard, you have to play this tape. Then the music teacher shows up and gives you the blue keycard. The music teacher is the one that tried to balance the feng shui of this place. You remember that from the beginning of the video? But he seems to then become stuck in the school. When you leave the room, you come across So Young again, and she gives you a little backstory to her sister. Do you know the reason I'm here? Well, it's for my sister. You've heard the rumors about me how I had a sister. My sister killed herself two years ago at the school. There had to have been a reason, but no one ever bothered to find out. To be honest, I can see her sometimes. I'm not talking about in my dreams. I can see her walking around the school. Sometimes she glares at me full of rage. Other times she just stands there and cries. I feel so bad for her. She must have had some kind of reason. But no one knows. After that, the two of you decide to keep going. 
but are interrupted by the janitor, and So Young runs through the store. Honestly, I don't understand why she can just go anywhere she wants, whenever she wants, when I have to like, put little tokens just to go to the fucking bathroom. Anyway, the janitor turns into a furry, and you get away from him. Before we move on, remember that note that I skipped very early in the video? I think now would be a good time to go over it. So, you know, play the intro. So there are these two nameless girls in this note, girl A and girl B. These two were incredibly close friends. Unfortunately, there was a fire in the old school building, and girl B was inside. Girl A was so saddened by B's death that it was almost as if she could still hear her screaming for help. That voice that she would hear slowly turned into resentment and hatred, and girl A started blaming herself for B's death. A became extremely isolated and eventually started hearing B in her sleep. She began to lose weight day by day and suffering more from guilt. Eventually, A couldn't take it any longer. She chose to commit suicide inside the school. As her vision started to darken, B's face appeared in front of her and said, Thank you. I needed you to die so I can live again. A wasn't imagining anything. That voice was real all this time. So you've probably realized that girl A is So Young's sister, and So Young's sister is that girl we saw hanging at the start of the game. The question is, who is girl B? Is it Ji Hyun? Sung Ha? Is it So Young herself? Is it me? Anyway, now you gotta run away from the janitor for like the trillionth time. So what about that key that was stuck up in the light? Well, to get that, you gotta cause a small power outage. In a note, we see a warning to not turn on these lights in these rooms, otherwise the lights will get fucked. So that's exactly what you gotta do. The key falls and now you can get to the pool on the roof. But there's one small issue. There's a cool mermaid monster in the pool and you need these little things to see where you can walk on the pool. And in order to get these things, you need to get the correct time on these clocks according to the time that is in the Royal Observatory in Greenwich. These places are Moscow, Washington DC, and Tiananmen Square, Beijing. Which seems a little random, because it's just some place where nothing has ever happened. After you do that, you can get the spooky sticks and go across the pool to drain it. After draining it, you get the water token. And you know what's coming, it's fucking Ghost Corner. There is a note called Mermaid. The note tells a story of a girl with no name, which they referred to as D, and a boy also with no name, which they referred to simply as Bad Boy. D loved to hang around the school pond, and she would often take care of the fish in there. One day, the Bad Boy, you know what, I'm just gonna call him Boy from now on. The boy went over to the pond to confess his love to her, but D rejected him. The boy, being an average reddit nice guy, started harassing D, and on a rainy day next to the pond, the boy pushed D and she unfortunately hit her head on a large rock, killing her instantly. He cut her body into pieces and fed it to the large fish in the pond to try to erase any evidence. Some time had passed with no progress in the police investigation on this case. That is until a boy disappeared from thin air in the school pool. His body was nowhere to be seen, even after draining the pool. It wasn't until later that his body came floating up in the school pond, completely dismembered and mauled. It was the very same boy that confessed his love to Dee and later killed her. And that is seriously strange. So you go over to those doors So Young ran into and use the water token to open them. You! What do you think you're doing there? Nobody ever escapes this school! Die! Let me through! I must get in! I'm begging! My daughter's in there! Let go of me! No! No! You killed her! You killed my daughter! 
It seems that this woman is the mother of girl B, the best friend of So Young's sister that had died in that fire. And I'll just explain this to you since the game did a pretty bad job at explaining it. The music teacher, who is very familiar with the occult, and he's also the man that tried sealing the ghosts with these tokens, and girl B's mother, tried to perform a ritual to bring back her daughter, but it went horribly wrong, and now they are both trapped in the school. I really wish. I could do that. Feel free to point and laugh. Now, this woman is chasing you. You can't kill her and you can't hide from her. All you can do is turn on the alarm. Also, I want you to remember that the paranormal event that we just saw caused an alarm to go off and the room looked like it had been on fire at some point. But the alarm doesn't immediately turn on because another lever downstairs needs to be turned on as well. And we see what appears to be Sung Ha pulling that necessary lever downstairs. something fall. <gasps> the, the, the woman is... <sighs> I'm glad you're not hurt. Thank goodness. We don't have time for this. I heard a scream coming from the lecture hall. I think it was so young. I'll go look for Ji Hyun. You go ahead. So now you can finally go to the lecture hall and a cutscene plays of the woman sucking up this weird purple fart energy. That is seriously strange. In the lecture hall now, you go to this control room to lift up this curtain. There she is, my beautiful babe, my beautiful vixen. As you're going down, this room starts to fill with gas. In 10 minutes, gas. Now you have to go around in this area picking up fire extinguishers to put out different types of fire all the while this lady is chasing you and you're doing your epic quick time events. You pick up this valve and put it here to turn on the sprinklers. And finally, her soul is put to rest. You pick up the fire token and talk to So Young. Not young. I saw my sister. I heard her soul crying in agony. It's trapped inside the school. Heeman, you must free them. All the dead souls trapped here. You must. When you go to put the fire token in, Sang Ha shows up and we have this big cutscene. I really thought you'd give up after one or two seals. How did it go? I think it went well. I really think that my sister's soul has passed on. 
Wow, you're such an idiot. You don't know anything at all. What's wrong? Why are you staring at me like that? What the hell is going on? <laughs> We are now in the labyrinth. My young Seth, she would always be with me. She made that promise. She promised, but she never showed up. But I was all alone. Alone in the flames. When I woke up, my soul was trapped forever in the school. Like other dead souls, I preyed on people. Their energy, their dissatisfaction, and their sadness. It gave me strength. <laughs> but all that's over now. With the power that you've unleashed, I'll be able to live again. Now we have to navigate the labyrinth and remove the tokens in reverse order, all while memories of the events and the fire play in the background. As the labyrinth is collapsing, you see So Young's sister drag Sung Ha down, and you save So Young. Thank you, you saved me. And so you guys go back to get Ji Hyun and the credits play, all while showing you these silhouettes of these fun memories that you had throughout the game. Oh yeah, I remember that. But let's be honest, that wasn't the real ending. Me and the fellas, we know what the real ending is. Take a pic with Cardi B inside my cardigan. Neighbors know I'm late. They call me Shorty, Mr. Tardy Man.